like sands through the hourglass, so is it's Christmas time. Okay, that's not how it really goes. It really goes, so are the days of our lives. You know, hello everyone, I'm Chris Smith. Um, would you believe this week... Mmm. Mmm, dusty. Um, this week was Days of Our Lives' 57th anniversary. It started November 8th, 1965. And yesterday, I had the thrill of a lifetime and went to the Day of Days. Oh, hold on. A Day of Days fan club event, which is usually a yearly event that happens in Los Angeles. But this is the first time they've had it since 2019 because there was a pandemic. Um, I hadn't been to one since 2018. They used to be held, and here's the little tote bag that we got in 2018. Um... Isn't that cute? And then there were all sorts of prizes in it, little things, a water bottle. And, you know, in 2018, they even gave us hand sanitizer with the Hourglass logo on it. And during the pandemic, I was even using some of the hand sanitizer from it. And I said, they were ahead of their time. Isn't that amazing? You know, Days of Our Lives shoot six years in advance. And even one time, they jumped one year in story um, and were a year ahead of where we were in the world. But they seem to have forgotten about that now. Because um, references, I think, are on their tombstones and stuff still say 2022, even though it should be 2023 in their world. But anyway. Um, so, yes, they gave us hand san sanitizer. And I said, they're ahead of the times. And... Um, Yes, as I was saying, they, they tape six months in advance, maybe even more, and they still do. Well, this year, we got this tote bag, and it was held, was held in a different location. You know, now the show is streaming exclusively on Peacock, so the Peacock logo was everywhere. And look, it says a day of days. And there was a water bottle, which I had just a minute ago. Where is it? This is the one we got this year. It's plastic. The one last time was like a um, an aluminum type, metal type thing. Don't know what material it was. Maybe kryptonite. Mmm. But so we got that. They even gave us donuts. From Sweet Bits Bakery. You know the bakery that Chanel and Allie Horton run? They're lesbian lovers. Actually, they're always pointing out that they're bi and, and fluid and all that. But um, I digress. We got a donut. They were pushing these donuts all day long. They're a little dry. I don't think it's Alice Horton's recipe like it's supposed to be in the story. Now... The nice thing, what else do we get? So we got this little box, and it was an empty box, and I'm like, what is it? It's an empty box. Oh, I went with Marco. He came with me. And then you go, and you, you get pictures of all the stars, and then you, um, they autograph them. So I got to meet um, Teo Pinglis as Tony, and Leanne Hunley is Anna. I told her that I had named my dogs um, um, Anna, Leotina, Maria, Sophia, Dorothea, Fettuccina, San Hannah, Montana, Lena, Michelle, Patricia, Falcon, Chi, Alonso, Alicia, Pershaw, Keisha, Mabuji, Donnie, Kirk, Gwinnett, Georgetta, Susie, Chanel, Augusta, Angela, Tammy, Faye, Smith, Jr. after her. But I just told her the Anna part. And my roommate, Marco, was like, don't tell her that. And I said, why? This She was a beautiful dog, a St. Bernard. And then Leanne Hunley said, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> Look on the back. It's, isn't that cute? Um, I got to meet, of course, Stacy Haddock. Haddock? Haddock? As um, Kristen and Susan. And, of course, Tina Huang as Melinda Trask. She's the mean DA. Uh, 
the great Deirdre Hall. I'd never really met her except once in a parking lot at CBS Television City. Um, so that was exciting. And Mr. Drake Hogeston as, as John Black. Martha Madison as Belle Black. Belle, well, it says Belle Black. She should be Belle Brady. Didn't they get remarried? Her and uh, Sean Brady, played by Brandon Beamer. Um, E.J. Dan Frugal. I don't know how to say his last name. E.J. Demera. Um, Camilla Bannis as Gabby. Uh, Remington Hoffman as Lee Shin. And his sister, Wendy Shin, played by Victoria Grace. She's new to the show. Um, Robert Scott Wilson as Alex Kyriakis and Ben Weston. Abigail Klein as Stephanie Johnson. That's Stephen Kayla's daughter. And, of course, Billy Flynn as Chad Demira. And Greg Reichert as um, Leo Stark who's one of my favorite characters. You know, so I was excited by the people I got to meet. And then when I was just going through the, the piles in my room, I found the schedules or, or the things from the last day of days, which I never told you about. And look, they had the little cards, but we got all the pictures. So we had Camilla Banis, and Robert Scott Wilson. And I also got to meet Victoria Conifle as Sierra. That was that year. Bill Hayes as Doug. And Susan Seaforth Hayes as Julie. And look how cute they have the little character names. Sort of like they're in a Rolodex. And Suzanne Rogers as Maggie. They weren't there this year. And Melissa Reeves as Jennifer. And she's not even on the show anymore. And just so many people. Cassie DePaiva as Eve. So these were the people that I met in 2018. In 2019, I went to visit my mother and family in West Virginia. And it was a good thing because it was in November. And then there was a pandemic and I didn't see them for two years. Um, almost two years. Um, Freddie Smith as Sonny. We have a new Sonny now. Um... Chandler Massey as Will, Mary Beth Evans as Kayla. You know, I was trying to go into Kayla and Steve's line this year, and it was so long, and they closed the line before I could get there, but I did do three lines in the afternoon. Um, they called them stations, so there were five stations, and I did three of the five in the afternoon. James Reynolds as Abe. That was a thrill to meet him that year and Casey Moss as JJ and Lucas Adams as Trip and then these were all the people I didn't get to see that year but I did like that we got all the pictures and what else what else oh hold on one second okay so I told you that I met Ron Carlovati, but I didn't take a picture with him. I met Stephanie Sloan, the editor of Soap Opera Digest. And I was like, Stephanie, I can't find the magazine anymore in the stores. Every time I go, it's like the August issue. And I have trouble with the subscription because when I was getting it in delivered, it was kind of, they started delivering it like in a little plastic bag, like it was delivered by a newspaper person. But like out of five weeks, only two came. So... I ended up canceling my subscription and was buying it in the store. So I was telling the editor of Soap Opera Digest this stuff. But I got to meet Albert Alar, who's the co-executive producer of Days of Our Lives. Oh, my Lord, what a nice man. I can't tell you. Look, here's, here's Lee Shin and Wendy Shin. I didn't pose in the pictures with the actors because EJ and Gabby... Because whenever I do, we were sort of kept six feet apart. And then you have to lean back. And then my chins would be like this. And I'd have an ugly smile like. So. Um, Billy Flynn as Chad. And then Leo Stark. Um, 
and then of course Alex Kyriakis and Stephanie Johnson. So those were just some of the things. Oh, this this seems stalkery, but look in the distance. I took a picture of Ron Carlavati, the head writer, and Ryan Kwan, who's like his right hand man. You know, he knows everything about the history of the show. Um. So. Yes, it was a very fun day. A day of days. And then guess who? Oh, and look what else we got. We got a visor, which came in handy because the sun, even though it wasn't that hot, was really giving us some sunburn. And then you got to wear this little lanyard to show that you were there for that event which was nice and then they gave us a nice days of our lives and peacock um face mask and it's a nice quality one so it's almost like having um you know being ready for another pandemic so but guess who hold on one second guess who caused us to leave a little early Blackie here. He didn't ask us to, but we looked on the little camera, the little monitor that lets us see Blackie Humphrey. And the poor baby was howling. He was just sitting on the couch and his little neck was up like, oh, oh, oh. So we were, Mark went over like, let's leave. And we went home to the child before the Q&A and the big reveal. They had a big winter promo and they told us that Bo and Hope are coming back to the big show. Not just on Beyond Salem, but they're going to be on the actual days of our lives. So there's a lot of exciting things to look forward to. And um, I do hope to go to a day of days 2023. If there is a 2023. I think there will be. Okay. I'll see you all later. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.